Oh man, we're almost done. What's going on guys? And welcome back to some more Black Ops 6. And as you guys can tell by the title today, we're on zombies because we are finishing one of the mastery camos. So as you guys can see, we are one opal weapon away from unlocking the afterlife camo. I'm not gonna lie, man. This camo is super dope. It is a throwback to Black Ops 2 and I need this really bad. And then once we unlock afterlife, we are so close to the nebula camo. Oh my God. But I'm pretty curious, man. What do you guys think is better, Nebula or the Dark Matter camo? Let me know down below. Also, if you guys are on the camo grind right now in Black Ops 6, drop a like on the video. I need to see who's grinding. So thankfully, I have a save file. We are on round 35 right now. As you guys can see, we have the XM4, which is the last weapon we need, Opal. For the Opal camo challenge for every single gun in this game, you have to just kill special zombies, actually 30 of them. The only special zombies that you can kill right now are the Manglers, and they're not that bad, but on these higher rounds, things can get a little bit crazy. Last night, I was up for a while. Oh, God, there's a freaking abomination. That's not what I want to see at all. Oh, there's like three manglers right here. I don't know how many more we need. I think we only need a few more. Okay, chill, 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 chill. There's one. There's maybe two, I think. We got to get this abomination out of here, man. This is going to literally make me cry. Last night, I was up for a while playing zombies. I was finishing up the SMGs. I will tell you guys right now, the average person is not going to do this camel grind at all. The zombies camel grind is no joke. I swear it is actually more difficult compared to the dark matter grind in multiplayer. The reason being is you have to get 2,000 critical kills or headshots with every single weapon pretty much in the game and that takes a long, long time. The special camos are really not that bad. Sometimes you have to get 300 kills with a specific ammo mod. Sometimes you have to get kills without reloading and hip fires and stuff like that. So the special camos are really not that bad. The gold camo challenge is really easy for Mystic Gold. You just need to get like 10 kills rapidly. Um, so that's not bad at all. And then, like I said, for Opal, you need to kill 30 special zombies. And then once we unlock our final Opal weapon, we then have the ability to, oh, Lord have mercy. Everyone chill on me. Once we unlock our last Opal weapon, we then have the ability to, come on, come on, come on. There we go. To then unlock the afterlife camo and do the camo challenge for that. And this mangler, is shooting that freaking thing. Stop it right now. Thank you. It's actually hilarious though, man, because doing this camo grind has actually made me a lot better at zombies. I swear, I am like the worst zombies player ever. Doing this camo grind really, really helped out. If you guys want to know a strategy that I was doing, basically, I was finishing multiple guns in a single game. So what I would do is obviously spawn into zombies with a gun that I'm currently working on. So last night I was working on the SMGs. So I would just spawn in with like, I don't know, the C9 or the Tonto or something like that. And after I finished and got an opal smg i would just hit the box until i got another smg ready for opal at one point i was getting like five opal guns in one game just because of that strategy now in the higher rounds there's a lot of zombies as you guys can see and it can get very overwhelming when you're trying to just kill you know manglers for the opal camo so i was lucky enough to actually hit the box and get the wonder weapon which i believe is like a jet gun or something like that i don't know the wonder weapon on this map was unbelievably amazing to help out with this camel grind essentially you just kind of like suck in the zombies and that cleared a lot of like the big hordes so that I had a lot more space and time for the manglers. All right, we got to get this freaking abomination out of the way. Stop it right now. Just stop it right now. Okay, we have this mangler. There's a few manglers on the map right now, which is great. Let me see if I can get this one. There we go. Special zombie eliminated. Oh, mangler, you want the smoke? All right, there we go. We killed another one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mangler. Come on. Yes, we got it. Okay. How many more do we need? Oh, we got it. Let's go, Opal. All right, we got our last Opal weapon. So now we unlock the ability to get the afterlife camo. So for the afterlife camo, you need to kill 20 consecutive zombies without taking damage. So we're basically just going to line up a bunch of zombies, hopefully not get hit in the back. We really have to make sure we do not get hit right now. Here we go. 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 Hopefully we're not getting killed. No, I got hit. I killed a lot of zombies right there, so we should be maybe getting one. Right, let's turn around, and let's hopefully kill a lot of these zombies. This should be 20, I swear it should be. No, the freaking verb! 
me! Insta kill! Yes! Insta kill, baby! This is what we want. This is like the perfect thing. Kill all of these zombies. Perfect. Turn around, kill you. Turn around, kill you. I don't really think there's like a medal that pops up to show that you've done like one of the camo challenges towards afterlife. So we really just have to like hope and pray. At this point, we're kind of just shooting and just not getting hit. I think there's definitely more than 20 zombies next to me. So let's just mow these down. Okay, we actually got a vermin round, which is probably the best thing we could get right now. Because the vermin, like I said, they are very, very fast, but they die really easily. As long as we just don't get hit by a vermin, there's actually a lot of them that spawn. And of course, we have dead shots. So we can kind of just like lock onto them a little bit. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Guys, 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 don't hit me. No, no, vermin, stop. Vermin, they just freak. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. No, no, no. Okay, staying alive, staying alive. Ha, 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 staying alive. Oh, my God, you just lunch. See, these freaking vermin are cracked. Oh, I think an abomination spawning. I am so, yo, these high rounds can just get so obnoxious. Not gonna lie, I'm debating just like quitting this game just because there's so many manglers, abominations, and then I get hit. And I feel like just starting a fresh game would be actually easier than just trying to get 20 consecutive kills without taking damage on these higher rounds. Well, since we were able to back out, we can see we now have six out of 10 for the afterlife. So we're really close. Usually I would turn on the rampage inducer, but for 20 consecutive kills without taking damage, I think we're not gonna do that. All right, we see two more zombies and then that should be 20 kills without taking damage. Boom, all right, cool. All right, we see kill a few more. That should be another 20 without taking damage. Much easier on these uh, really early Early rounds, I'll admit. All right, this should be another 20 without taking damage. We gotta be really close. There's one, there's two, and yeah, we're at over 60 kills without taking any damage. All right, this should be another 20 kills without taking damage. Afterlife, are you gonna pop up? Where are you? Wait, did we do it? Did we do it? Unlock afterlife camo, pop up. Where is it? Where is it? Is it gonna pop up? There we go! Afterlife has been unlocked. Oh, that's such a good feeling. We gotta back out. Come on, give it to me. Ah, oh, Afterlife is here. All right, we gotta hop into a game. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the Afterlife camo. Wow, I love this. I love that it's Afterlife from Black Ops 2. Don't even get me wrong. I like that it's animated. It looks really sick. But I think like the accents, the magazine, the stock, the, the parts that don't really have a camo have this chrome blue to it and i just think it looks so clean it feels really good to finally have this camo though because like i said man the zombies camo grind has been a lot of work it has not been easy it's just very time consuming i don't think it's a hard camo grind but the average person is not going to be unlocking the afterlife camo or even nebula just because of how much time it actually takes i think for you know all the headshots and all the special camos just to get a gold weapon in zombies typically it will take about an hour and a half to two hours depending on if you're lucky if you're a good player if you kind of know what you're doing so yeah an hour and a half for each gold weapon then you have to kill 30 special zombies which are the manglers which can take another hour hour and a half then on top of that you have to get afterlife still and then nebula on every single gun if you want to do that it is just a very long and intensive grind but it's finally paying off because i'm not gonna lie nebula is gonna be way more rare than dark matter 1000 percent. if you see someone with dark matter obviously it's gonna be impressive, right? If you see someone with Nebula, that's going to be even more impressive. Someone actually took the time to grind that out in zombies, and that's way more rare. You will definitely see less people with the Nebula camo in multiplayer games, 1000%. So if you see someone with both Nebula and Dark Matter, yeah, they're the real deal. I would just back out of the lobby for sure. Let me know down below in the comments, man. Do you guys like the uh, multiplayer camos more or the zombies camos more? I'm not going to lie. I'm really messing with the zombies camos. I'm not even going to lie with you guys. I think Trey are killed it this year with zombies and honestly it's been a lot of fun we are getting a brand new zombies map with season one i think that's coming in the mid season update though I did make a video on the season one update that we're going to be getting the roadmap drop so if you guys missed that check out my video that i posted yesterday we're getting a ton of new dlc weapons we're also getting a lot of new maps uh perks score streaks so honestly 
It's season one's looking very good for Black Ops 6. Treyarch snapped with how much content we're actually getting, and we're also getting the Krig returning from Black Ops Cold War, as well as the Sog from uh, Black Ops 4. That's gonna be a lot of fun, man. Using the Sog again is gonna be sick. We're also getting Hacienda from Black Ops 4 as well. That was a really, really good multiplayer map, so I'm kind of hyped that it's coming back. Either way, man, I'm having so much fun on Black Ops 6. Now that we're really close to the Nebula camo, finally, I can now kind of focus on just leveling up as well as prestiging and then going to master prestige. I have been prestiging as you guys can see. Like, I think I'm prestige seven or maybe eight. I think I'm prestige seven going into eight. So I've definitely been prestiging and stuff like that, but I feel like with zombies and, and whatnot, you don't get the most XP when it comes to the zombies camel grind. So I just feel like now I can really focus on just leveling up and everything like that and grinding to master prestige and then maybe level 1000. I think it's hilarious though that we've unlocked basically every mastery camo for the XM4. That's just always been like my gun. I don't know why. Let's try to win this game. Oh my lord. We're just getting spawn trap, but somehow we're still winning the game, which is unbelievable. I'm gonna look this way. Throw that Semtex right in the middle. Prone, prone, prone. Got this guy in the middle. Oh, where did this guy come from? That guy is just hopping around. All right, a few more kills and we should be done with this game. Throw that right there. Kill this man in the middle. Kill this man in the middle. And that is the victory with the afterlife camo. Also, I just noticed the afterlife camo perfectly matches my new microphone pop filter that I recently just got. It matches my lights. It matches my microphone. Afterlife camo might just be my camo. We got Mystic Gold. We got Opal. We got Afterlife. And now we are so close to Nebula. This camo looks beautiful. One of my favorite details about this is that the magazine and like the uh, rear grip are cracked and you can see the Nebula almost seeping through. Now that we have Afterlife, we can enter Prestige Aid. Yeah, finally. Let's go, baby. Prestige 8. Oh, comment down below what prestige you guys are. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. I'll see you next time.